guys, so today I'm making a video about how to actually vlog with the Sony ZV-E10. Alright guys, so right now I have reached my destination which is the mall here. So today my purpose, my mission here today is to go to the Saloma Link Bridge and take some photo. I'm on my way going to the Saloma Link Bridge. So it is around 800 meter and it's going to be taking around 12 minutes by walking on foot. It is a bit far but it's going to be okay. In the middle of the part of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And just now I just reviewed the footage. I'm walking on standard stabilization and everything seems to be fine. So as you can see, this is the beautiful country of Malaysia. Okay guys, so right now I've increased my shutter speed to 1 over 100 and I'm just using a standard stabilization. To be honest, with the standard stabilization, it is enough but you have to walk very slowly. I can't move very fast. Otherwise, the footage is going to be very jerky. So here, I'm quickly checking on my map. Uh, it's about 8 minutes, 500 meters. And yeah, guys, you can check out today's sun is so bright. And the city is so vibrant. It is so happening here in this beautiful city. This is the tallest building. No, it's not the tallest building, but it is the tallest twin tower in the world. Now I have to wait at this junction. It's going to be very long because when you come to Kuala Lumpur, this is a place that you must visit. Yeah, the view here is just amazing. You can see the viewing, yeah, the Twin Tower just behind me. Yes guys, we are getting pretty close to the Salma Lake Bridge and I almost forgot to talk with you guys about the setting of the Sony ZV-10 So let's take a break and we talk about the setting right now, I'm heavy So let's quickly talk about our setting today So today our setting is going to be shutter priority mode I set my shutter speed at 1 over 100 for showcasing a bridge later I will try out the catalyst plus for you guys And also for the quality right now I'm on 4K 25 frames per second and I'm just using a 60 megabytes per second because I don't know about you guys in Malaysia the weather is very hot I want it to overheat so I have to put it at just 60 megabytes per second and it will not overheat on me and also the battery life is quite good right now I'm at 74% battery life okay guys so right now I'm going up to the Saloma Link Bridge so I've just turned off the stabilization stabilization is known to be really bad on a ZV-10 so later on we need to use the catalyst browse application from Sony to stabilize this footage and already right here I see the link bridge it is so beautiful and it actually cost the government like 7 million US dollars to build this bridge yeah at night the bridge will lit up and it is super colorful to be honest guys, right now it's 2 o'clock, it is the hottest time in Malaysia because 1 to 2 o'clock is when the sun is at its hottest and the brightest and surprisingly, we are the only one, yeah guys we are the only one in this link bridge so I can do whatever I want in here so I'm just going to shoot some portrait photo here obviously just the environmental portrait and me myself selfie with this bridge and yeah, let's take a photo here so here we got some information about the link bridge 
in Kasan Saloma. So this bridge was just opened in 2020 and is the longest single span steel structure in Malaysia. Alright guys, so right now we are just below the KLCC Twin Tower. So I just took a few POV photography here, but the result is still okay because it's my first time of doing it. I hope I can improve on that, especially on the composition side. So here we are, just below the KLCC Twin Tower, and there's a lot of tourists here taking photos, especially there. There's a group of tourists there taking a picture with the Twin Tower and I just took a photo of them. So fast, the sun has gone away guys. Right now it's just... Right now it's 2.30. You know, my cap is going to fly away. Yeah, this is Kuala Lumpur. Where you get windy very fast. And yeah, you can see the environment. Everything is flying over. So yeah, let's get inside and get some snack and refresh ourselves. So to be honest, when you are going to make a vlog, the most important thing is obviously going to set up your camera with a proper setting. And the second thing about making a vlog is about the story. The story you develop to make this vlog looks good. Honestly, it's not just about walking and talking while using your camera. It is about how you present your video and it is about how you edit your video. Yes, so hello guys. So I just got back from making a tutorial about vlogging with the Sony ZV-E10. So adjusting the angle. Yeah guys, so this is it, making a vlog with the Sony ZV-E10. So today is a fun day, the experience is so great. It is actually my first time using the Sony ZV-E10 while vlogging in the street of Kuala Lumpur. Because previously I used the Sony ZV-E1 which is much smaller and compact, it is very handy. But of course, the Sony ZV-10 is great as well because it has high quality sensor. So I like the image quality from the ZV-E10, but the ZV-1 is good in terms of convenience. Today, most of the time, I'm just using a 16mm. I'm just the kind of guy that like wide lens. Alright guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video and watching till the end. I will see you in the next one.